Hi everyone. Good morning from a desert location in Southern California. Just out doing some boondocking. Um, so, what do I got for you today? I have recently received a new pin box from the good folks at Lippard Components. It's called the Air Ride. Trail Air Air Ride. And what that's going to do is uh, reduce a lot of the stresses and strain on my fifth wheels frame and my truck and smooth out our ride. So I'm really eager to test that out and uh, show you what's up with that. So I'm going to take it for a, a journey and let you know and also I think I'm going to figure out how to do some footage on the drive so you can see it in action. So let's go. Okay, so we've completed the, the maiden voyage with the Trail Air Air Ride pin box that I just installed and it was a awesome success. We're really happy with this pin box. We uh, took it down uh, kind of an interstate, not an interstate, but a highway, cement highway with a lot of uh, kind of cracks and uh, it really smoothed that out. Also took it down one of the worst roads that I've ever been on for rolling. It's kind of a, a rolling asphalt road with these these dips, and you're going in, you're going up and down and up and down and up and down, just outside Salton City, towards Borrego Springs in California. If you've ever been in that area, um, but with the trailer, we've been down there before, and it really rocks and rolls the trailer, and the the new trailer hit pin box was really good for that and of course when we came in to our boondocking site here there's a lot of gravel rocky road to come in to get in here so it was a good test there too so I'm really impressed with it, it really smooths out the, the ride and also I'm protecting my uh, fifth wheels frame <clears throat> from all that abuse let's give you a, a closer look at this thing <clears throat> And it's got the airbag in between. <coughs> and it's got the airbag between, it's kind of like a jaws, think of like a dinosaur jaws. This top one doesn't move, but the bottom one can move up and down on the airbag. And then it's got this oil shock to uh, dampen the rebound from the airbag. So they work in concert with each other. And then up top, you've got a place to put in the air. I found it took about 40, 40 or 45 PSI to uh, inflate it to the appropriate level. They kind of give you a guide on the front of the shock here. You want to inflate it to the top of these arrows. Right now it's a little high because it's off the truck and everything. Looks pretty cool. So, um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going back into Palm Springs along the same route, so I'm going to uh, mount the camera pointed at this thing and uh, give you some live demo footage of it in action. I'll go back out this uh, gravel road and then we'll get on to a fairly uh, average highway curvy highway and then we'll go over that extremely lumpy road and then get on to a, a cement highway and uh, try to get you uh, some footage of when it hits some of the bridge 
ridges and things like that, you'll really see the how the airbag really dampens any shocks to the trailer. Okay, here we go. Well, there you go. That's a trip from our from our boondocking spot into the RV park. Um, I guess you noticed the the shock was down below the arrows there. Uh, still had a good ride and everything. Um, it's just kind of a guide. The arrows. Uh, the reason it, it went low is I had forgot I was uh, on blocks on one side of the rig. So when I came off the blocks, it changed the the weight on the on the hitch. I also find that happens with the, the water tanks. When we go out boondocking, we're filling the 60 gallon tank that's situated at the back of the trailer. So like a, a teeter tartar, it, uh, it lifts the front a bit. And then as we use it, we're putting all the water into the front tanks. The black and gray are situated up front, so it changes it. So I find there's a, a little bit of difference that way too that uh, Either I'll have to adjust for or just uh, use it not exactly at the arrow tips. But uh, you can see it sure uh, took a lot of the, the shock out of the road surface there as we were coming in. Okay, well I guess you can see from that footage that the air ride really does a great job at uh, absorbing the shocks, especially when you go off road or you're on some harsh, uh, harsh back road highways. It really, uh, really takes the stress out of out of the fifth wheel's frame, which is my biggest reason for wanting one of these is to uh, protect my fifth wheel's frame. That would just be a real pain in the rear if anything cracked in the frame and they had to pull you know the whole front cap off and try to dig in there to find it and repair it so uh, yeah I'm really happy with this thing um, other other than that everything's really smooth when you drive along the, the highway I'm getting no chucking action at all um, 
really really works well. I really like it in the corners. I find the rig is cornering a little better than it did. When it was solidly attached with the old pin box, it kind of you get a little bit of tuggy and you kind of feel it in the corners. This one really really handles nice and uh, yeah, it absorbs the bump, bumps really good. Um, the install um, is much like I did earlier on. If you watched my previous video when I installed the the Lippard's Flex Air pin box, just bolted it up. This time I didn't have my hydraulic lift, so I, I put this pin box on the tailgate of my truck and then on a spare tire to bring it up and I used the, the fifth wheels landing jacks to raise and lower it and with the aid of a trolley jack I was able to uh, put it up in place so I could bolt it up and uh, same thing used a torque wrench to set the the proper uh, torque on the bolts and everything it's pretty easy to do it's just these these uh, these units weigh a lot like this this one's a little lighter than the flex air it, this one's around 180 pounds still and it's replacing a pin box that maybe was 40 or 50 pounds so it's the only drawback to these is you're adding quite a bit of weight onto your trailer so you're actually reducing your cargo capacity you know you can only load up your trailer to a certain amount the, the maximum um, gross vehicle weight restriction so uh, keep that in mind if you're getting one of these that uh, you're going to be adding more weight to your truck bed and also your trailer cargo will be reduced so probably it probably going to be about 120 pound difference so that's like two batteries for us boondockers anyway um, I just had a final comment about the flex air <clears throat> the flex air was much the same worked out great the only problem with it, with uh, my particular rig, is it introduced a small kind of chucking action, which is a front to back um, tugging and pulling action. And it was happening even on very, very flat highways. It was very subtle, but after hundreds of miles of towing, it would kind of get annoying. So the problem turned out to be I should have had the air ride originally should have uh, discussed it a little more with Lipper to to give him exactly the the issues my rig was having so the 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 problem you can see the flex air here has an extra piece the air ride has is pretty solid it just has the airbag and the shock but the flex air has this extra bottom piece that pivots and also has in here there's a, a about an inch rubber buffer and that's actually to help people that do have a chucking problem so if you do have a back and forward problem with chucking and an up and down that you need the the airbag this is the one for you so i encourage anybody who's looking at these pin boxes to go to lippard's uh, website if you go to my blog post, there's some links out to Lippard's website. They also have a, a great YouTube channel with lots of uh, videos so that you can choose which of their pin boxes is right for you. There's this Flex Air, which is their top of the line. And then there's the, the Air Ride that I have that works great on my rig. And there's also one called the Roto, I think it's Roto Flex. And it's, it doesn't have the airbag, but it's to help reduce the back and forward movement. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Till next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com and Angie hanging out in the desert doing what we love. Cheers.